Good morning, everyone. This is Jim Ogrzynski with your instructional video on the double entry journal. So I did speak um, to this assignment a bit during the weekly screencast video. So for those of you who want a little bit more in a way of uh, content on the double entry journal and the instructions, this instructional video should uh, help out. All right. So by about now, I think just about everybody um, has been working and completed their annotated bibliography. So as I mentioned here, uh, working with five sources, build the double entry journal as described on pages 97 to 103 in a curious researcher. So you've really got to read that section. Um, we've also just about completed the discussion board uh, what I call the note takers triad discussion board where everybody had an understanding from the textbook about quoting, paraphrasing, and summarizing. So that should be familiar to you also. So this is where we put that note taking all together and we talk about in chapter uh, three, right? So uh, with those five sources, okay, you grab three excerpts, whether it's a quote, a paraphrase, or a summary, please review your sources choose wisely something that you think might help you and support your research essay draft that's coming up in a couple of weeks so you want to start some work on that and so really it's a straightforward um, assignment um, the example is posted right here okay so in the double entry i'm just looking for a name um, a box here use the table format and i'll show you how to do that in a minute um, citation um, a quote here and then what the quote does to your topic uh, was particularly interesting you know what was interesting what got you thinking what contributed overall to your uh, knowledge in the way of a your research topic so this is this is just an advanced form of note taking and thinking. Previously, a lot of times when we work with print um, source material, whether it's uh, a printed article, uh, many of us old schoolers would write in the margins and we would write our thinking. What does it mean? And then you can do this for your uh, videos also can be used as this particular for this activity. Um, obviously, you could summarize a portion or a point paraphrase something from the video you don't have to write it down word for word and then you actually write your bit of a commentary here what it added what you were thinking what did it say to you okay so there is no right or wrong answers as long as you have the quotes paraphrases or summaries in your thinking and it all connects um, it's a pretty like I keep saying it's a pretty straightforward assignment so just work within the table boxes um, here I did provide a template. All right, let me get back to the activity here. Oh, uh, it took me out of my, out of my, okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, that's the example. And, um, I will assess the double entry journal by its completeness, accuracy, and quality of the commentary. All right, and this is worth 50 points. So here, I'm just using section 318 as an example. Um, I do have a template in here. So when I say make a copy and rename, uh, just click on file, make a copy. You can rename it right here, whatever, you know, your last name uh, here. Take out the copy. It'll provide you a copy. Um, Smith underscore double entry journal always can share it with the same people copy I don't want to copy any comments but you share it with the same people and it'll open up the Smith double entry journal template here so you can use the template copy and paste citation now as you um, work in a text box I'm not sure everybody's aware how a text box works everybody should be it'll expand what you're thinking okay and your writing so as you can see here if I close this up got Smith the one I've just created by making a copy of my template 
And what it does is it provide, it just offers that the template stays for in the folder and is available for everyone uh, there. It's, it's great for, it's great, you know, great that everybody can use the template. If for some reason um, the template might not be for you, um, oh, I don't want a folder. Sorry about that. Let's get a doc. It's really kind of straightforward. If you have a blank, you can create a, a table format and just click insert table, do a two by two entry here, just right click, and then it'll give you merge cells. And then here you can begin, you know, working in the table boxes. Um, so straightforward, you can format these any way you, as you work, you have a table here in this particular, uh, using that function, right? Let me get rid of the, Remove that and I'll get rid of my example Smith here. And that way you can see that it's easy and straightforward to build those uh, tables and those boxes to put your uh, comments and also your quotes, right? So um, I think that's about all I have for this. I think um, between the screencast here and looking for the GDoc link in the submission, straightforward for the double entry journal all right if you have any questions about this assignment as we can see here for section 1318 um, someone has uploaded diana falkowska has uploaded her double entry journal plus which i just looked at looks uh, pretty good there and i've also got the example here um, in the module all right any questions about the double entry um, send me an email.